Okay, so consider A, the enclosed area between this function f of x, the red function, and the x-axis. Well, to recognize the enclosed area means, it means we've been looking for, here's the x-axis, what's enclosed by it, so it's all this area here is what I'm looking for, nothing else. So that means from negative 3 to 1 in this region here. And so it says write down the definite integral of a. So a is equal to, well, elongated s is the definite integral. I'm going to go from my negative 3, my x value of negative 3, to a value of 1, my upper limit, because it's all this area in here of my function f of x dx. And because f of x is defined, I don't actually have to put it, I can just write f of x. This is a part finish. It's really important that I use proper notation, um, and then we can let the calculator do the work. This is a part. So I'm going to show you two different ways. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm taking the liberty here to graph the function. And there it is there. And I want to find the area, and I've set it up so it looks pretty similar. And so if I go to my calculate menu, the blue one here, so second trace, which is the calculate menu, I'm going to do number seven, which is the integral. My lower limit, well, is negative three. And my upper limit is one. And then I know that A is equal to 21.3, is the area underneath there. To clear that drawing, I can go second draw, and I hit number one, and it clears the drawing for me. So that's one way to do, of doing it. The other way is if I'm on this screen here, the home screen, if I go to math, and if I scroll to number nine, function integration, I'm going to go from negative three, oh, negative three to one, and I have it in y1, so I'll save myself the effort and just type y1. I could type the whole function in there, and I have to put x. And then I also see that it's 21.3. So two different ways to do it on our calculator. It's quite handy that we can take find the area by doing it on a calculator. What the calculator actually does is it just puts in lots of little rectangles, and it adds them up. That's what it's actually doing.